What's it like to live in a war zone? To have to choose between survival and the people who matter to you most? This week's pick explores these dark questions in each breathless chapter. Molly and Mouse are war orphans, casualties of the conflict that's been raging in a sea-swamped, politically fractured United States. More than anything, Molly just wants to stop running, but in a country teeming with terrified child soldiers and power-hungry adults, the question isn't when she can stop running, but where she can go. Of all the dystopian fiction I've read recently, I found the drowned cities to be the most believable, and as a result, the most harrowing. What happens when our political parties really stop getting along? It wasn't hard to imagine the action in this novel as the more than likely outcome. This book did feel a little like a lecture in parts. The author has some very specific things to say about war and broken childhoods and selfish politicians. Heavy handed? Yeah, but it's hard to disagree with his message. I wouldn't call the drowned cities hopeful, but its terror was so visceral that it did accomplish one thing. It made me want to reach across divides of all kinds with outstretched arms and a willingness to listen. My guess is it will do the same for you.